Hello, we're back. This is part, I don't know, was it part four, part five? I don't know, I can't remember. We are lost in a sea of floaters because these games are truly god-awful. Well, not all of them are god-awful. There's some half-decent games in there, but for whatever reason, we are going to be showing you the games that we are getting rid of. We've been through our entire collection of about, I don't know, 2,000 games. Fucking hell, that's a lot, isn't it? And these are the ones we are getting rid of to make space for more shit games that we're going to get rid of in the future. You know it is. So the first game is Kill Shakespeare. I don't know why we picked this up. I have no idea what it is. I think it's an area control game. We picked this up for about four quid from a website that was going out of business. Yeah, we're leeches like that, but I haven't got a clue what it is. It looks okay. I don't know. I think you picked this up on eBay for a fiver still, but it's just weird looking. I don't know why that geezer out of Twin Peaks is on the cover. Maybe he's in the game. Maybe it is Twin Peaks the ball game with a Shakespearean theme. I'm losing my mind. Let's get rid of it. And on a side note, nah, it's eyeball the engine. This is a half decent pickup and deliver game. I bought this to play with my kids. I pulled it out and they're like, dad, what the fuck is eyeball the engine? And I had to make that noise, didn't I? I'm not going to do it now. I can do it for me. The eyeball the engine noise. Go on. One, two, three, go. This is a half decent pickup and deliver game. And look, it contains sheep, not real sheep. The overstocked sheep from the Agricola Sheeples expansion. Oh my God. See, this is the last time it's played because there's mold in the box. Not that my house is a mold infested shithole. Actually it is. But yeah, I've the engine. My kids don't know what it is. They looked at it and said, no dad, we're not playing this. It looks crap. So I took their word for it and it's going in the bin. So here is the gnomes of Zavendor. Look at it. Just look at it. Would you want to play this game? It's actually a half decent game. Uh, stock market building and other stuff. It's just, I don't know. I've played it a couple of times, pulled it out recently, said to my wife, do you remember this one? She said no, and that was enough. So it's actually not that bad, but I just can't convince anybody to waste their precious life force in playing this game. So I don't know, somebody else can go and waste their life playing it. Here's a game called De Holder is Older. I can't remember what it is in English, but it's a game where, oh, well, I'll be having these. Don't want to waste some good punnets there. Sorry, whoever's going to take this one will have to reorganise it themselves. I did it with Shipyard, so you can do it with this one. But anyway, this is a game where you'll be putting tokens up on a series of tracks. That is all you're going to be doing. And whilst it's not a bad game, it's not a fantastic game either. And we don't play enough, so it's going to have to... I actually really enjoy this game, but no, no. Here's a game by Antoine Bowser. It's a tower defence game called Samurai Spirit. Oh, I don't know if this is a relatively good game. It's just too small. I don't know. If, and when you're playing these tower defence games, what's the point? Because when you've got Carnival Zombie and Castle Panic and all the other games that are easier, well, I'm not saying Carnival Zombie is easy to play, but when you've got easier games to play, this is fiddly. The rules are a bit obtuse. And yeah, I don't know. I like Antoine Bowser, but I never play this. So it can bugger off. Here's a game called Imagine. The premise of this was quite intriguing at the time. We thought it might be a good laugh, but it turned out that it was a pile of shit. You'll be trying to create pictures using things on these cards and you'll be able to arrange them any way you want. And it just doesn't work. It's a pile of gorilla shit. And yeah, I don't know, maybe you'll like it, but I don't, I hate it. And I can not imagine anybody enjoying this game because it sucks. Is a game called Pandante. This is essentially poker in a box, I think. I don't know, it's gambling, lion and pandas. I don't see how this is anything to do with pandas because apart from having panda pictures, there's not really any pandas in the box. I don't know, it's another one of the games that's been gathering a lot of dust. And I don't know, pandas sort of annoy me in a strange sort of way. They just sit there and eat bamboo. And they're a bit like human beings where they don't actually contribute anything to society apart from shitty games like this. Here's a game that we stupidly backed on Kickstarter. And this is another one of them games that turned out to be a complete pile of crap. This is Champion of the World. In this game, you'll be racing different types of animals and you'll be tearing your hair out because there's not actually a game in here. You'll just be trying to convince the other players that your ostrich is better than their grey wolf or their Somalian ass. This is terrible. This is really, really terrible. It's one of the worst games I've ever played because it's no game in here. It's just one of them games where a big YouTube channel picked it up. Everyone backed it, including me. I hold my hands up. I admit it. I'm gullible. And when you get it, it turned out to be 
fucking awful. So yeah, cheers for that. Here's a game that we picked up in a bargain bin. It's Dark Darker Darkest. This game was completely broken when it was funded on Kickstarter way back in the day. But they went back and they completely rewrote the rules and they apparently have turned it into an half decent game. It's just that I just couldn't be bothered to read to read the bleeding rules because there's about 80 pages of them. Opponent quality isn't too bad. Oh dear, that look good, do it. Look, look, it's all bent. It's not too bad, but yeah, it's one of them games where you think, oh, what's the point in playing that one? Oh, I played Dead of Winter, all oh, the host of other really good zombie games out there. So yeah, this one, I think I'm gonna bury this one alive just for fun. So there you go, that's another, so eight games, eight games that we are getting rid of. I think there's one more video in this. So I'm gonna try and eke as much ad revenue out of this one as possible. Just kidding, I don't do this for the money. Don't do it for the money. So there you go, yeah, if you haven't clawed your eyes out in frustration yet, then I'm sure you're gonna do it before the end of this series. So yeah, join me for the concluding episode of this excruciatingly poor series of the games that are leaving our collection. See you next time.